Next, we are going to place this pattern on to the avatar. Okay, to do so, first of all, I'm going to move the pattern down and somewhat that's not over the avatar. To do that, I'm going to come over here to this transform pattern tool once again, and I'm going to use the command or control plus letter A to select all the pattern pieces. Then I'm going to just click and then drag it down here just a little bit. After that, I'm going to come over here to this 3D window and I want to click on the reset to the arrangement all to arrange a pattern over here. So let me zoom out a little bit and pan it to the left. So now the pattern are arranged to mirror the pattern in the 2D window. And that's what we want. Next, I'm going to click one on a page to deselect. So as you can see right here, we have front and back pattern. I'm going to come over here to this 3D toolbar window. And I want to select, you see this avatar icon? Hover the mouse over the avatar icon and then hover to the right. We want to select this function right here, show arrangement point. I'm going to zoom in just a little bit here. So with my transform pattern tool is active, I'm going to marquee select all these pattern right here, the waistband and the front skirt. Then I'm going to come over here and just, you know, hover the mouse over the avatar and you see the silhouette appear right there. Click one to place that pattern. However, though, a pattern is so big and it's kind of, it's kind of warp over. Let me rotate her a little bit. You see wrap around the avatar. We don't want that. We want the pattern just a little bit kind of flat. Okay, because this is important when we simulate, we want the pattern not kind of stack on top of each other. To flatten the pattern, I'm going to come over here to this property editor and I want to come down here. You see under arrangement. So the shape style instead of curl, we want to change that to flat, just like that. Next, I'm going to press on number eight to see the back view of the avatar. And I'm going to marquee select both of these back pattern pieces right there. And come over here to this 3D window and click one to place that pattern. So by default, Clo try to help us out. Make this pattern turn into flat rather than curve, okay? So after that, I'm going to come over here and hide that show See right there, show arrangement point, click once again to hide it. Before we do anything further, I'm going to press on number two to see the prompt view of the avatar once again, and I'm going to click one on the page to deselect. 